Unless you have a very specific and niche use case, the best notes app for you is probably the one that comes with your iPhone. Apple Notes. There are other note-taking apps out there that have advanced collaboration features, built-in AI, and complex networked note-taking abilities. But I realized that I don't need a personal wiki or a second brain, and most of my notes are just for me. I just need to store some information and access it at some point in the future. And chances are keeping your notes simple is the best approach for you as well. Apple Notes is dead easy to use. It already comes with your devices, and it is surprisingly powerful. Let me show you what you can do with it and why it's probably the right app for you. First, you can organize your notes into folders. Just tap the new folder button at the bottom left and give your folder a name such as demo in this case for me. And you'll see your new folder come up right here. You can create subfolders if you want for more organization. Just tap the ellipses at the top right and then tap add folder and I'll call it a demo subfolder. So that's pretty simple. However, you can organize your notes in a different way as well. If I create a note right here, I can call it a design proposal, for example. I can organize my notes with hashtags. So what I can do is go to the bottom of my note or anywhere really and start typing the hash sign and I can put, for example, design. And you'll see that once I add a space after it, it turns yellow, that means it's a hashtag now. And I can also put proposal. There we go. Now this note has two particular tags. What I can do is go back to the main screen. And on the main screen, if I scroll down and open this tag section right here, I can tap design and see all my notes with the design tag. I can also combine these. So say I want to see all my notes with the design and proposal tags, which is what I'm looking at right now. But we can take this one step further. If I just go back to the main screen right here, I can actually create a new folder again at the bottom left and then tap make into smart folder. So this is really cool. Now I can say I want to see all notes that match certain criteria. For example, I can say I, this needs to have all of the selected tags that I'm going to choose, design and proposals. And I'm also going to set a time limit on this. So created in the last 12 months and with attachments. So let's say with drawing attachments. So now when I tap done, I can call this uh, recent design proposals with drawings and tap done and I can go into that folder and there's nothing in there right now, but you can imagine how this might work. When you're editing a note, there's a lot you can do to format the note. For example, let me press the AA button and give this note a title. So it's formatted as a title now. I can also create a heading or subheading, but I'll start with a title and call this summer trip planning. And what I can do then, for example, I can create a heading and call it costs. Now what I can do is if you see the button all the way on the left next to AA, it's the table button. If I tap that, I can insert a table into this particular note. And so for example, I can say uh, item and estimated cost right here. And so I can say flight and maybe that costs, let's say $500, so $500. And I can tap this ellipsis right here and just go add row and maybe I can add another row. And then I can say um, rental car and that might cost me $400, etc. Right now I can format this table a little bit as well. If I just tap into the top row and tap again and tap this arrow to the right, you'll see it says format and then I can say bold. And oh, whoops, I need to first select it actually and then go format bold. There you go. And I can do this here as well. So I'll select all format bold. And now my table has a nice header. And you can imagine what else I might be able to do with this. I can also insert a checklist into this um, note. So let's add another heading and just say packing. So I could put a packing list in here, for example. And so I could say passport, wallet, first aid kit. Another thing you can do in notes is you can scan documents or scan text directly into this particular note. So let me demonstrate that right here. I have a book and I want to do a little, a little scan from this book and add it to this particular note. So I'm just going to tap the scan button and then I'm going to say scan documents. Now when I do that, it will actually scan the whole page of this book and insert it into the note after I tap save. There we go, it's in there. So this is super convenient. I can also add the text directly. So if I again press that button and then instead of scan documents, I tap scan text. Now what I can do is I can hold it over the book and then press insert and you see what happens. The text from the page gets directly inserted into the note as text rather than as a scan. And there's more things that you can insert into a note. Let's tap the button next to the scan button, the markup button. If I tap that, you'll see that I can just start drawing into my note with various drawing tools, but there's also a plus button at the bottom right. And if I press the plus button, it allows me to, for example, add a shape to this particular note. So I can just go, I want like a rectangle in here and I can do something with it so I can draw essentially. As you can see, if I go back to that button and press 
press plus again, I can also add a signature. So here I just have my initials, but you could add or remove your signature. This is very handy if you've got a PDF document inside your note and you can put your signature directly onto the PDF. And if I go back in here, another thing that you can do is you can just add text boxes on top of drawings. So you can actually get quite creative with Apple Notes. You can also view your notes in a variety of ways. For example, if I swipe left on a note, I can pin it. If I swipe left on it again, I can unpin it. If I tap the ellipses at the top right, I can tap view as gallery and view my notes with a thumbnail preview. And I can switch it back to a list if I want as well. If I tap the ellipses again, I can also sort my notes differently. For example, by the date that I edited them rather than date that I created them or by title, which can be handy as well. I can also group my notes by date or not group my notes by date. So if you turn this on, you'll see today, yesterday, past seven days, past month, etc. If I turn that off, it just all shows up in one list. But I often find it handy to be like, like, oh yeah, this is definitely something from the last month. And so I can go ahead and quickly find that as well. So there's a lot of different ways that you can view your notes. You can also tap the ellipses and then tap where it says view attachments. And if you do that, you see all the attachments that you have throughout all of your notes in every single folder and with every single tag. So this doesn't work on a folder specific basis, but it's a really convenient way to find some photos that you're looking for. For example, my exercise instructional screenshots that I have right here. Now, another thing that you can do is you can actually long tap on a note and get a bunch more options. For example, locking and sharing a note. So if I want to lock a note, what I can do is tap lock note and it's going to ask for face ID. Now what I can do is if I go inside this note, I can just tap the button right here and now the note is locked. So if someone else takes my phone, they can see the title of the note, but they can't actually see the contents until they unlock it, which works like this. And again, we do face ID. And if you go back to the folder screen, you'll see at the bottom, it says a lock now. And if you do that, if you print tap that, it will actually lock all of your notes that have a lock on them throughout the notes app. And so if you want to share a note, one way of doing that is long tapping the note and then tapping share the note. And the other thing you can do is go into a note and just tap the share button. At the top, you can decide whether you want to send a copy of the note, for example, putting the notes contents in an email, or if you tap that drop down and you turn that into collaborate, you can send a link to someone else who also has to be an iPhone or a Mac user. They and you can actually work together in the notes and edit it in real time simultaneously. Now, here's a quick tip if you ever need to select multiple notes to edit all of them at the same time. One way of doing that is tapping the ellipses at the top right and then tapping select notes. And then you can tap the notes that you want to select and do something to but you can also take two fingers and even before going into select notes, so wipe down and that'll select a bunch of notes and then you can still edit them. So it's not all a continuous selection of notes. If you often find yourself wanting to take a note really quickly, you can add a quick note button to the control center. So just go into settings and then under settings, scroll down to where it says control center and then scroll down and find where it says quick note just press the plus and now quick note lives in control center control center is this screen that we have right here so the bottom right icon right now is a quick note so let's say I'm just on the home screen I can open control center by swiping from the top right in and press quick note and this allows me to quickly write something down and if I tap save boom I'm back on the home screen so it's an overlay that doesn't actually require you to fully open the notes app but allows you to really quickly jot down something that you want to remember for later I would be remiss if I didn't tell you as well about the excellent search feature in Apple Notes. So from any folder, just tap into the search box and you'll see, first of all, all these suggested searches. So for example, I can quickly see all of my shared notes, all of my lock notes, all of my notes with checklists and so on. But we can take this one step further. Let's tap notes with attachments. And now we've, we can see all of our notes with attachments. But what I can also do is I can tap into the search field again and add text. So for example, if I type USPA, now what happens is I'm searching for the phrase USPA among all of my notes with attachments. And that very quickly gets me the note that I'm looking for. As you can see, Apple Notes is probably more than sufficient for your needs. Unless you have a very specific niche use case, don't worry about more complicated note-taking apps. Do yourself a favor, stick with notes and get stuff done. Also, download my free Apple Notes cheat sheet. The link is in the description of the video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Ciao.